Hello, in this video, we're going to cover a lot of the bugs that you may run to while trying to install or use VBOT's block with. Be sure to use the timestamps in the description in order to jump around depending on what error you may be getting. An error that people commonly run into is VBOTs will not be able to find or run Python. If this is the case, your VBOTs console window will look something like this. It will say, warning, python.exe is not found. Here are several solutions that may fix this problem. The first thing to check for is, did you install the correct Python version? The Python version that VBOTs is compatible with is listed right here. At the time of this tutorial, it is compatible with Python 3.8, 3.7, and 2.7. If you installed a Python version that is not listed here, install, uninstall that Python and reinstall a version that is compatible with WeBots. To uninstall Python, go to the WeBots search bar in the bottom left corner, click it and type Python. From there, find your Python application, right click on it and click uninstall. This will bring up the following window of all of your applications. Scroll down, find Python. Python is right here, Python 3.8.6. And then when you double click on it, it will uninstall itself. Another possible place that you could have gone wrong is you did not add Python to path. Adding the file location of Python to path is important because it allows WeBots to find where Python is saved in your computer. This may have happened if, when you were installing Python, you did not click on this Add Python to Path button. To check if Python has been added to path, go to the Windows search bar in the bottom left corner, type CMD, and click on Command Prompt. From here, Type in python space dash dash version. If you get a similar message that says Python was not found, that means Python was not added to path and keep watching the rest of the solution. If you get a successful message that lists the version of Python that you have installed, continue, skip to the next solution. To add Python to path from here, first, Go to your Windows search bar in the bottom left corner, type in Python. Find your Python application, which will look like this. Right click on it and click on open file location. Once you open the file location, check if the type is listed as shortcut. If it is, repeat this process. Right click on Python and click on open file location. As you can see now, it's listed as application instead of shortcut. From here, go up to your folder path, click in this bar, and press Control C to copy this text. From here, go into the Windows search bar again, type in path, and click on edit the system environment variables. Click on environment variables, click on path, in the system variables window down here. So there's path. Click on edit. Click on new. And then type in the file path that you copied earlier. Press enter and hit OK. Hit OK. And then hit OK. This should have added Python to your path. Go ahead and reopen WeBots Blockly to see if WeBots now recognizes where Python is saved. Another reason that WeBots may not be running Python successfully is it's running the wrong command to execute Python. To see if this is the case, go to the window uh, search bar in the bottom left, type in CMD, and then click on Command Prompt. Normally, to run Python using command prompt, all you have to do is type Python, hit enter, 
and then you will receive a similar message followed by three greater than signs where you can start typing Python code. If when you type in Python, this message does not appear, that means uh, you should keep watching this solution. Figure out what command will run Python successfully. For example, you may need to run Python 3 instead, and then you will get a similar looking message. Figure out what command executes Python successfully, and then go in to Rebots. Go to Tools, go to Preferences, and then go to Python command. Make sure that the word in this box is the exact same word that you need to run Python in command prompt. So, uh, if you had to run Python 3 in order to get Python running successfully, change this to Python 3 and then hit OK. If the word is already the same as the command that you had uh, to run in order to run Python through command prompt, then keep watching the other solutions. If none of the previous solutions worked for you, then your best bet may just be uninstalling Python and then reinstalling. This actually works a lot of the time, so there's a decent chance of fixing your error for you. If, after uninstalling Python and reinstalling Python, you still have this error, there should be a forum in the future where you can ask uh, your question and provide some screenshots, uh, so maybe one of us can answer your question. Another error that you may see is Rebots will complain about not being able to find a Python DLL. This error is difficult to recreate, but if you do get this error, inside your console window, it will say a certain Python DLL is not able to be found. If this is the case, your best bet is to uninstall Python and reinstall it. In fact, you may want, even want to install, uninstall Python and Rebots and then reinstall Rebots and Python and hopefully that will fix the error for you. This next error is simple, but it can still happen. Sometimes you may not be able to see your play button in the upper right corner of your screen. If this happens, this just means that your Rebots Blockly window is too big. To make your Rebots Blockly window smaller, go to, the, go to its right border. To do so, hover your mouse around this area and make sure that you see a blue line lighting up all the way from the top to the bottom down here. If a blue line only lights up down to here, that means you have the border of the scene tree, which will not resize the Rebots Blockly window. So make sure you're hovering over a blue line that lights up all the way to the bottom of the screen. From there, click and drag to the left to make your Rebots Blockly window smaller and then your play button would now show up. Those are the errors that tend to occur most often when using Rebots Blockly. If this video did not cover an error that you are having, there should be a forum that goes up in the future where you can ask your question. When the forum goes up, a link to it will be listed in the description of this video. Have a good week and we'll see you later.